tracking some cooler conditions for our Sunday as we've seen a cold front pass through overnight. Didn't get really uh, any activity out of that. We just saw some lighter returns on radar. Uh, this is actually even before sunrise when we were before most of us were waking up. Uh, we had this cold front. You can see that in the moisture at the Kansas City radar here. Uh, that has pushed well south of the area early this morning and we'll be following northerly winds behind that. Uh, not gusting too high quite yet, but we will see those breezes this afternoon uh, and with that northerly direction keeping us fairly seasonal throughout the day. You can see this morning, ironically, we're a bit warmer behind that cold front. Uh, most parts north of I-70 and Minmo have ended up even 10 degrees warmer than we had for Saturday morning, but uh, that's actually gotten us back on track for those seasonal conditions. We'll see by the afternoon, thanks to those northerly winds. Uh, we just top out in those upper 70s and constant sunshine to enjoy today. Uh, just maybe you wanna make sure you're staying hydrated still as we're getting near 80 degrees here. Uh, and we'll still have that nicer breeze to at least knock off the worst of that heat. Uh, during the afternoon today. We'll continue to follow those northerly winds cooling us off even further into Monday, uh, possibly seeing the 40s early in the day. We likely will stay away from those coolest temperatures though uh, as those winds continue overnight. That's going to mix the atmosphere pretty well uh, and that kind of keeps those cooler temperatures out of here. We'll uh, certainly follow more of those seasonal conditions though. Those northerly winds do keep us cooler by the afternoon, uh, only topping out in the lower 70s for Monday and we're still following that uh, into the middle parts of the week as well. A very stable pattern setting up with these northerly winds. Uh, you can see for our Sunday, we're actually tracking that near 25 miles per hour, so uh, fairly higher wind gusts, especially north of I-70, but uh, otherwise still a nice end to the weekend. We'll even see those breezes coming down by sundown tonight, so later evening plans if you're trying to get out uh, maybe by the campfire, we will see those winds uh, get backing off just after the dinner hour tonight. We still follow those northerly winds. Uh, Monday afternoon, another uh, pretty steady breeze. Not a bad idea to even grab a jacket uh, as we will only be in the lower 70s, so uh, prob probably feeling even a bit cooler uh, than those actual air temperatures. And then as we get into Tuesday, you will notice a bit of a disturbance moving in. We even get some southerly flow out ahead of that. Uh, but once that pushes through, it's just going to reverse that again right back out of the north uh, into the later parts of Tuesday. This disturbance is really not expected to bring any changes. Uh, once it finally pushes through, we could even end up cooler on the other side uh, into those 60s for Wednesday. We still uh, kind of round that corner again into a warming trend for the later parts of the week, as you'll notice. We're staying dry the entire time. Thankfully, pretty seasonal, though, uh, with those minor disturbances moving in. We have a lot more activity ramping up far to our south out in the Atlantic. Uh, Tropical Storm Ian at this point is expected to uh, intensify to a hurricane by our Sunday evening and even into a major hurricane here in the coming days. We'll see that beginning to turn north uh, by the end of the weekend and then as it heads for Cuba, possibly already reaching Category 4 uh, before it pushes north into the Gulf of Mexico. We uh, will see that probably encounter some cooler ocean temperatures and uh, as it makes its way more into land, we will see that weaken a bit. It is still expected to be a major hurricane though, uh, likely as it will be lashing the Florida coast and they're on that uh, what we call a dirty side, the right side of the storm there where those winds and rainfall are worse and it is really looking to stay on course as we're uh, seeing most of our models agree there are a couple of strays, but it is likely still heading uh, at least for that western side of Florida. A bit closer to the panhandle at this point, but we'll still continue to keep our eye on where this is heading in the coming days. Certainly looking to bring almost a foot or more of rainfall here uh, by the later part of the week.